Okay, so this is a tutorial uh, to introduce you to the digestive system. So the digestive system is essentially a long tube which is about six meters long and it runs all the way from the mouth right down to the anus. So you can see how the, this tube is folded in this ab abdominal area. So this increases the surface area for absorption of nutrients. So as well as this long tube, which is referred to as the gastrointestinal tract or the alimentary tract, you've also got accessory organs of digestion. So you can see these other organs coming off the side of the tract. So this large one here is the liver. You've got the, you've got the pancreas sitting behind the stomach and you've also got the gallbladder sitting behind the liver. So the digestive system consists of this long tube running from the mouth to the anus and that includes the stomach and then you've got the three accessory organs of digestion so the liver, the gallbladder and the pancreas which sits behind the stomach. So the purpose of digestion is to absorb nutrients from the body sorry from food in, into the body um, and digestion involves breaking down the food so that it can be easily absorbed. And you've got sort of two types of digestion. You've got mechanical and chemical digestion. So examples of mechanical digestion are chewing um, and you've got the stomach which can contract and churn so it can churn up the nutrients or the contents of the stomach. Um, and then you've got chemical digestion which involves enzymes produced by various organs and glands. And you've also got acid in the stomach and bile in the gallbladder which help to chemically digest um, uh, the nutrients from the food. So we'll just take a look at, um, we'll start at the, start proximally, we'll start at the mouth and work our way down um, and we'll take a look at some parts of the digestive system. So digestion begins at the mouth and the mouth is formed by the hard palate and soft palate at the top um, and you've got the lips at the front which you can see here. The side walls of the mouth are made up by a muscle called the buccinator muscle. So if I just isolate that you can see this muscle called the buccinator making up the side walls of the mouth. And then you've got the uh, teeth and tongue inside the mouth. So you can see on this model the upper teeth sit in the maxilla, so this is this bone of the skull, and the lower teeth sit in the mandible. So the function of the mouth is to provide an opening for the food to enter the body, um, and it can it's used for mechanically digesting the food by chewing. So if you take a look at my tutorial on muscles of mastication you can see how the muscles uh, can bring about chewing movements. And it also begins chemical digestion. So you've got salivary glands which produce saliva obviously um, and the saliva consists mainly of water but there's also some enzymes for digestion. So you've got things like salivary amylase which breaks down starches into sugar and you've also got lingual lipase and other um, antimicrobial enzymes. So you've got three major glands, salivary glands. You've got the parotid, submandibular and sublingual glands. So if I just rotate this skull model around I'll show you the location of these glands. So the parotid gland sits kind of like this over here and then you've got the submandibular gland so it lies underneath the mandible in this kind of location and you've got the sublingual gland which lies under the tongue in approximately this location. So you've got three, three main uh, pairs of saliva glands to remember. So after food has entered the mouth it passes into the pharynx. So the pharynx um, is this sort of muscular tube which joins onto the nasal cavity in the, the, the mouth and it connects them to the esophagus and the larynx. The larynx is these, these structures anteriorly which um, are commonly referred to as the voice box 
and behind you've got this tube which runs down into the stomach and this is the esophagus. So I've just got rid of the trachea and you can, sorry, the larynx, and you can see the trachea anteriorly which goes into the lungs and the esophagus which runs behind it posteriorly. So the pharynx is this bit which I'm outlining here uh, between the nasal cavities, the back of the oral cavity uh, and just sitting above the trachea and the esophagus. So there are three parts to the pharynx. You've got the nasopharynx, the oropharynx and the laryngopharynx. So food passes out of the oral cavity into the oropharynx and then you've got various muscles, constricted muscles, which contract and propel the bolus of food from the oral cavity through the oropharynx and into the laryngopharynx and then it passes down into the esophagus below. So during swallowing, the soft palate actually swings up and closes off the nasopharynx 